It's August, it's tomato season, and since I don't eat tomatoes any other time of the year, pretty much, we're going to start to take a look at tomatoes. I spent a lot of time making sandwiches in my life, so I've put a lot of thought behind them. And if I was going to get into them with you guys, I wanted to start at the most basic level. And for me, that's a BLT. I told you I had a thing with tomatoes. If you want to know what the thing is, I urge you to go read the book Tomato Land. I'll link it on Amazon uh, down below. It's just, um, it's just not good. And, and so I wait till August comes around and tomatoes are fresh. They have taste and they're beautiful. You have different varieties. There's way more varieties of tomatoes than you probably realize. These are just called heirlooms. These are an old variety or a bunch of different varieties of tomatoes. And they're really flavorful. What makes them different or better in my mind is that they are probably like 95% meat as opposed to the kind of uh, like snotty juice that's usually in tomatoes. And these, you can truly taste the difference. Go to the farmer's market, especially if you're on the East Coast and you can't get them all year long. Look for soft but not mushy tomatoes. I don't want them to be mealy and almost like bruised. I want them kind of beautiful, firm, shiny, sort of like that. And they come in all shapes and sizes and colors. This one, I wanted kind of a big one to fit on my sandwich, so I got this guy. I got some green leaf lettuce. I like avocados in my BLT, so I'm gonna use those. You gotta get good bread. I got this company, this Vermont bread company. It's just like an organic, no artificial, nonsense, soft white bread. That's what I like. I tried to get the thickest cut bacon I can. I showed you how to cook bacon. This is a little thicker. The lazy part of me doesn't want to show you again. We'll just go over it really quick. I've got the thicker pieces around the end because the end of a baking sheet, in my experience, is what cooks hottest and fastest. Thinnest parts in the middle. I'm gonna bake, put it in a cold oven, put the temperature up to 375. I'm gonna let it slowly render and cook and flip and move them around as I see fit. If these guys are getting too much color, then I'll switch them with the ones in the middle. And I'll just keep an eye on them for about 20 to 30 minutes until they get the crispiness that I want. A serrated knife makes it a little bit easier to cut through a soft tomato. See how much meatier it is? There's only these little pockets of juice and all of this meat inside rather than mostly juice and tiny bit of meat. And you just smell the difference already. It smells like it will taste and that is delicious. Quick avocado refresh. Make sure this is on when you purchase. Push down, soft, not too firm, but not too soft. It should give. This one should be okay. It might be a little under, but that's okay. And then take your knife, go to the nut, and then spin. Super easy. I'm only gonna use one half, so I'm gonna keep the nut in. I'm just worry about this guy. green leaf lettuce, it's pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna pick off the leaves that I want and then wash them. Try and get some from the middle that are nice and crisp. I'm a little bit smaller. So with my lettuce, I have my tomatoes and I have my avocado that I just put some plastic wrap over so it doesn't oxidize. And then we need a sauce. Usually it's mayo, but I don't usually just put straight mayo unless it's like a homemade one in a sandwich. And I also think a BLT needs a little bit of um, acidic spiciness in the form of a hot sauce. And usually I would use sriracha and make a spicy mayo, but I thought I had sriracha in my pantry. Usually it's there, it wasn't. So I'm just gonna use a backup, trusty old Frank's Red Hot.
So like these guys over here, these are done. I'm gonna pull them. Back in, get the rest the way I like it. You don't want bacon to be too crispy. This is nice meaty bacon. You don't want it to char to a crisp, so it's crispy enough for me. Sandwich is another example of it's only going to be as good as the ingredients you put into it. Bread, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. As somebody who ran essentially a sandwich business, bread is like 40, 50% of the equation. Everything in it is the other 50. So you have to have good bread. BLT is about the bacon. I want ample amounts of meaty bacon in there. I want crisp lettuce. A good tomato will really take this over the top. So please do yourself a favor. Please go to the farmer's market this weekend, take a look for the tomatoes, try to find perfect ones, just try them. Try it in this, make this yourself. I promise you will taste a difference. As always, I appreciate you watching, appreciate you guys being here. Got much love for all you guys who are here. Happy that the community is growing. Make sure you check out Tuesday's video. I got a special collaboration with Dave Parrish at ABC Barbecue. He's coming over to my place. We're gonna teach everybody how to make better grilled steaks. So have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.